Hello everyone, this is Eris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Doyen Saving Your Disaster campaign as we continue for episode 7 from turn 67 in the autumn season of 203. So last time we ended with a defensive hold here in uh, Xiuyun in Jianning. And basically the game didn't save because it's not auto save. I'm so used to legendary. So I had to redo the battle. And obviously knowing that it's better off if I hide the units, I hit the units. So they got off easy. Uh, the generals are still very strong. They killed off our other vanguard generals. So the result's pretty much the same. We're just at a much higher health level. Uh, Liu Zhang actually got knocked out. No, actually he didn't. He survived. We ran him away. But basically we hit the generals and got away with things. Uh, same thing on their part. We were able to capture, I think, one additional general from the post-battle. And I just recruited them because I don't want them to still be in their armies afterwards. I don't think we're keeping the units. They're not terrible. Yeah, we'll see. Take the items and I think leave them alone for now. They all have fondness, so I don't have to worry about that. Our dear brother, uh, he will eventually Maybe get a core position. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But we did lose a vanguard. That part's the same. I don't think we have to go here anymore, which is great, because we have Mulu's army poking out over here, and we would like to go capture him. So Sun Tzu having a really high rank would actually do really good in that. We just have to get here. It'll take us quite a few turns, actually. Three turns. He should be able to reach it before us. Decent garrison. We can probably outlast him here as well. Alright, over here we're planning to attack Shizia's faction. I think we'll try to take the settlement first. It's undefended. Easy to take it now. They don't have military infrastructure. That should be good. And our goal is to pretty much take the Naman lands, build our prestige, get king rank, Ooh, 49% captured on Wasi. Nope, didn't get him. That's fine. We'll just steal their land for behind. We can give him some different units. I think R would be slightly better than theirs. We get formations on ours. But aside from that change, actually, I'm going to give him cavalry. Aside from that change, everything else looks fine. We captured Yunnan, which deserves administrator, but we need to do a bit of shifting if we were to do that. Who is in a bad commandery? Because we definitely have a few that doesn't need administrators. Ba, for example, would be one such commandery. So we're just going to shift her here. This way we can avoid the satisfaction change from being fired from office, and then we can assign this next turn. We can do a bit of converting. Oh, this is actually quite good to keep for now. Since we get construction cost discount, we don't need the extra income percentage yet. We can take advantage of the extra construction discount on the building. Uh, this can keep... This is tier 4, so if we downgrade, we can actually convert. Let's do that. This we don't need. City build, okay. Uh, we can keep this for now, it's similar. And we'll work on this slot. All right, so this is good. City build as well, private workshop. It came with the inn or else we wouldn't even be going with this build. Land development, and then we'll convert that later. We have our own tea now. Alright, so we are building the temple already. There's not enough commerce here to justify marketplace, so... Probably just a forge, and we get some items if we can get the reforms. 
If we don't get the red reforms, then it's kind of pointless. We would need this one. Right now, we're not going down that route anytime soon, so it's not really going to be useful for a while. We can get school and get the reform on the blue side. Let's do that, actually. We're probably a turn early here, but that's fine. All right, looking good. No one's attacking us here. We're gonna go out and colonize. We'll colonize everything going across and then go down afterwards to make sure no one's competing with us. Really should take Poyang while the old tribe and control it. We might summon an army here afterwards, or maybe even here, just to take this before they do. Uh, we're not going to beat them to it, so that's fine. Let's continue. We can maybe buy off of them or something like that. We're not going to be able to rescue the Emperor because our prestige is going to hit before we get to that point. So there's no reason for us to go north now. We'll just develop the south. There were a few hoping that we would marry Dongbai to Sun Tzu, but I'm a little hesitant about that since what would likely happen is they would have other marriages in place and then we'll be related to everyone. It might be hard to get marriages down the line. Oh, so I really gotta stop. Thank God we're not spying. Oh, we did not do this. Wait, the Emperor still likes us because we have very high Imperial favor and he's giving us aid. Zhang Yan has finally decided to join us. Perfect. He went to Gongsun Du for a moment, but then decided coming south is a better vacation. His faction got wiped. We are missing champions as well, so he's perfect. Come join us. And then we're gonna shift her back. Put her in Yunnan here. Alright, Yenbai who has a lot of this. Let's see if I can buy this. I can. Okay. The rest will use cash. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna loop down. I mean, obviously we want this, but we might have to buy this first and then buy these two from him. Alright, we're gonna recall him because the next destination is over here. And we're probably going to have to step down this way. So we'll use someone else. I'm going to use him as a proxy. Get rid of these. Basically just racing him. To the spot. Then we would want to buy this as well. Alright, 
a little bit pricey and then we don't own the other piece. So I guess we don't have to. I'm guessing this is definitely taken land, right? It's not high, so basically they will have the peace. This is the last unclaimed territory here. After we get it, we can think about putting up an army. Hmm, I guess we wouldn't take that. Unless they fail. If they fail to take it, then we can go for it. But yeah, that's pretty much as much land as we're going to get over there. Why are we moving so slowly? Then struggle. Yeah, I guess just the Nama land is just not easy to move through. He's finished with Ying Shao, which is good. And then Sun Tzu's army can push down that way afterwards. There's a coalition with Nanhai's faction, Jiu Zhen's faction. Let's see if they... Jiu Zhen joins, Nanhai does not join. Okay, that's good. Then we just wipe out everyone here. Zhou Tai! Wow. Uh, close victory. Hmm. I don't think I can get it to decisive because ammo is also considered in the calculation. And for this army to win any battle, it's going to be a lot of ammo being spent. So it's going to be pretty much similar to this. 58% is decent. Let's see if we get a shot at him. We don't, but he's still in the faction. We'll see. Alright, super over leveled, but we get an entrepreneur here, which is great. They have a school. Wow. Um, we built one. So we'll get rid of theirs. They're doing the double marketplace trick. But there's no... Oh, there's tea. Okay, there's a little bit of extra commerce income. We could keep that. Basically, food producing, regional city. We don't need to downgrade. I prefer having high... We're going tall. We just go to state workshop here. No private workshop, though. Private workshop is better than a second. Yeah. Let's do private workshop here. State workshop right here. Keep everything else the same. Food multiplier. Peasantry. Yes, yeah, it's fine. It's not, not something we need, but it's not the worst. And then we wipe out Jiu Jin. Let Sun Tzu take care of this. We lost some trade deals. Not getting it back. Submit to the cause. Support yellow turbans? Wow, they developed quite well. They, they, they ascended to a diplomacy rank. That's... Huh. Interesting. We'll see what's actually going on in the rest of the map soon. This is fine. They're going to rebuild the force. They are probably a little bit too weak right now, but... We don't have time for that. We're going to start barring things like water clocks. Alright, this can be converted. Let's stay workshop first. Oh, we can convert at the same time. Two build slots here. Population over a million. We're low on food after picking up that tier 8 settlement. Hmm. There's a port here, so this might be food neutral if we convert that. This will give us a little bit of food as well. 
All right, I think we're good. Hoping for a good round of faction council. We might use this a bit later. We have enough points building up. Oh. Little surprise he gives up this early. No. I mean, speaking of marriages, we can probably steal quite a few characters if we want. Like, Macho will be available. Even the AI think we have a shot, and we do. With towers and proper placement, we can beat this army, even without generals. The elephant's gonna be a little rough. The generals are. Hmm. Actually, the generals are gonna be a little rough. Both of these generals are quite strong. But do I really. Wait, do I really want to kill Mulu here? I would lose the chance to capture him. Or actually, we could still capture him without a general here, but if we let him take this, then we'll have a better shot at not wiping out his faction. Alright, just do one and do two. The AI is very unlucky. We keep getting fog weather roll during these defensive battles, and that's just gonna hurt them. Elephants are dying. I think they had eight at the beginning. There's no trees on this side, that's a problem. To step on that quickly. All right, watch them turn around here. Hopefully, they get all hidden soon. them out. Still not hidden? They don't see them. They should turn around again, because this should be the last visible unit now. Gonna have to march this group over here. I don't want them to go in. We might have to come out. We'll try to group with them. Yep, okay, they're coming. A little bit risky. We might have to do something like this just to make them walk back a little bit. Well, we try to get our units together. Yep, they go back. Yeah, AI behavior is just very easy to cheese. Especially when they're limited by vision, they can't see some of the fog units. Alright, 
So let's call these two together. We can easily fight here with like four overlapping towers to fight in. Like they have to march to us this way. Preferably they march out over here and then go fight us over here. Let's see. Obviously we don't want them to capture everything here. It looks like they're gonna capture that one. Might as well shift over here. You two are too slow. Well, a little bit of overlap here. All right, gonna have to slow it down a little. Are the arrows? This group of archers is probably dying here. Unless they get here fast enough. Alright, they're breaking two groups. Elephants charging over. Took down one, took down two, and then get absolutely murdered. Uh, they they activated them. It's okay, we go distract them here. I think we can charge in here and fight. Go get the point then. Wait, wait, wait. They killed. Oh, they sent only the elephant over. We can kind of swarm in and kill this thing. Oh, we actually stood against the elephants. I mean, they still had four, but they're just losing a little bit of morale here. There we go. Took some losses, but survived that. Pick up the capture. Do a good We're gonna go this way. Uh, we could help this. Winnable. Uh oh, that's not winnable. He has to army loss. Uh, we have to base the army loss at the very end here. Start healing. Yeah, we got it. The captain's fighting off the spear pretty easily.
Might as well be joining the fight. Feels like it's gonna come down to this. It's gonna come down to how much damage Mulu's elephant can do to us. All right, they're good. We got the point. Kill this quickly. Archers will fire at the axe throwers they come in. I want to get away from the axe throwers real quick. We'll let our archers do the damage, and we'll get away from it. Yeah, Ravine Warriors also have no range block chance, so both of these should be picked off pretty easily. Because right, <laughs> they came back a little bit early. A little bit early. Alright, we're gonna go fight their generals. I think we have to somehow kill Mulu to get the win here. I don't think the army lost with both generals on the field. We would love if they come out and fight us. Everyone that has range, fire on Mulu. Everyone that's melee, stay away from Mulu. Send, just send just one at him. Don't let him, you know, slash damage more than he has to. Barely losing health here. It's just so hard to hit into a general. We might still lose this, and I think I'm okay with that at this point. We could also force a draw. Right, maybe that would be a safety net for us. Alright, army loss. Army loss, let's do this. Sustain some damage on him so it doesn't come back. Alright, we got this. Never mind. Only a close victory, so I don't think we'll be capturing him, especially since we have no general on our side, so it's probably impossible given their high rank. The question is, are they still on the map? Probably. Yep, they're still around. Yeah, they're, they're coming down, but I think they're just trying to go home. But just in case, we're gonna grab that first. Oh, come on. Another spy one? It's a good thing he's not very bright. Oh, we get nine bestelment. We can force the trade wheel turbo rebels. Did they lose that piece of land? We have no vision of what's going on here. That's their capital, and that's the trade route that we have. That means they can't trade it. Uh, that's not great, because, um,. I'd rather take that piece of land than get a trade deal with them. So we'll get this. Yunnan looks good. Mess with Yuan Shao. Um, we don't need to be messing with others. Reroll bad trait. No, this is fine. <laughs> Igmatic, okay. Not what we were expecting to re-roll, but that's fine. Alright, we have all the land that we were expecting to have here. And recall him back. Nationalized by Cao or someone like that? Uh, 
Ah, uh, that's not much resistance. They might make us go into the forest a little bit, which might delay our movement. Oh, burn officer. Mm, we'll just take the item. And speaking of the item, we'll put it on. Yeah, it ruined our movement. Alright, we can hit him next turn. Don't die on the field, please. I don't expect children to be very active, actually. So I think we want to turn around and actually hit Shrissi at first. We have the school reform this turn, so I think we'll go get that, even though I kind of really want the 8%. Overall, corruption is not bad. We have it under control for the most part. Jiangyan is our most developed. Interesting. Zanko is catching up. Cool. Get rid of that. Basi, Uling, Basi, large city, go small regional here. We don't have food. That is the problem. We're running out of food. State workshop. Private workshop. All right, extra build in Yunnan. Supposedly, going taller would be nice. But right now, maybe not feasible. We didn't get the plus 10 this year, so we're going to just calm down a little bit with taxes. Oh, we can't because of food. We'll drop him again next turn. Try to minimize our loss of Imperial Intrigue or Imperial Favor with him. I mean, for us to get more food, we just need to go Green, green Reform, but... There's just so many other things we would like to have. A new army to fight the yellow turbans. I think that's probably the right play. We have Zhang Yan here. Who doesn't get along with anyone. Or at least most that's in our roster. We could add him. He's a new burn officer. He can also run our cavalries, and then we do. Yeah, that works. We throw him in next turn. All right. Unfortunately, as much as I love to see down calves, they just don't make sense on a strategist, even with double charge bonus. He has reach, which is good. We'll do the recruitment, uh, recruitment next turn when we get the other general. Looks like they held, or at least they haven't been attacked yet, which is good. That might be it. We're going to throw them this next turn. I will use it. I mean, Jianning is going to have higher potential later, but not right now. Not going to update till, yep, till we change taxes. 
Went up a little bit. I'll take that. And that should do it. Try to get this capture done. Turn him around. Take a bit more land here. We'll check our prestige level as well. Oh. That settles the marriage. Nope. He's suiciding, not giving us any capture chance. Uh, I mean... It's gonna be low regardless, but this might be the end of him. Stand up! Stay alive! Still alive. Ah, oh, he's gone. We tried. Alright, Domain's gonna drag the High Empire back into a bad relationship with us. Minus 30... Okay, more spying schemes. Oh, Lady True... Wait. She's in Shirsia's faction, okay. We got hit with double negative 30 on her? Okay, it's only going to stack as one. That's fine. If the Emperor doesn't name him enemy of the Han, we can't do anything about it. This is where they might attack. We might need an army here. Gotta wrap up the south first. I mean, her force is so battered, it's not going to matter, even though the weapon's pretty scary. I don't think they're needed anymore. We should have gotten rid of their items. I mean, we can still do it here. They're going here. Looks like they held. Should be good enough to kill that. Oh, we didn't use any discounts. Ah, it's okay, we don't need it. We have 100k in cash. Speaking of having a lot of cash, let's rush some of these. It's embarrassingly slow. Can we get a small city at least? And then we want land development. And then we want a conscription building here. And start working on tax reduction. Give me a state workshop. Go at least a small city. Then we want it in. Private workshop. Let's go city build. We even throw a land development here. Get some food for ourselves. And then start working on that. Yep, just spent 60k. Super close. 32 points still king. We'll get there soon. Um, in terms of expanding options, this one's just coming down over here. We didn't get to grab Mulu, but that's fine. He's going to join Lady Jurong's faction. 
who I think we'll keep alive. We'll probably put a force here and just farm them until we get the characters we want. Instead of taking this last piece of land with the spice. Uh, it'd be nice to pick up the spice though. Uh, it's a minor thing. We don't need more money. We need the characters. So we're going to farm them. going to take this piece of land and then put the army here and just keep farming their characters. Alright, they do have army there, but not impressive. And then we'll sweep through this. 32 points. Honestly, missing food. We could do government support here. There will be peasantry income, peasantry income, and then food. Let's just do the simple thing. Wait, we can still sign military? I guess we can, because they didn't join the war. They're just a vassal. Uh, in terms of marriages, we're thinking there are some sons that might become available. Let's say Ma Teng's faction, for example. Nope, they're all married. We have some girls, we have some guys. Nope. No one single. Interesting. Wow. I mean, we're not playing with spies this time, so there's a lot of characters we can't really check. A little surprised. We can also try to, I mean, if we take this, we'll buy two pieces of land. I think that'll get us to king rank. Ah, Tal Tal's back! Another two army attack. This time got smart, not going for armor smith, going for the T. They're trying to go home. Construction time increase in Jiangyang. We're already full built there. Alright, Cao Cao's main army will use Zhang Yan's force to take care of. Xun Yu's army, pretty decent with lots of uh, Qingzhou unit. Alright, so we're going to have to summon the army here. Hmm, this is going to be a bit trickier. The good thing is the generals all are terrible. Two strategists plus a sentinel that has no items. I'm thinking the vanguard generals would probably do it. Seating is not one. Okay, so... That's our three. I'm going to cancel Lady Wu's assignment and maybe have her come back because she has some uh, mercenary units that can instantly muster. We can do a second army to save them next turn if they go for a siege situation again. Which I don't think they will. They are stronger than us by quite a bit. Ah, he has abandoned town. Okay, we'll take that. How much Imperial favor do we lose? Three points. Not too bad. No worried about losing too much. And then definitely convert that right away. They do have food here. I'm going to just convert that. Should still be pretty positive on food. State workshop here for now. And don't do anything else with the build. Alright, Shizzy has an army there. Alright, no reason we let them just pass through for free. We can try to capture Dylite. Oh, there's no movement there. But we can get this. 
憧憬胜利，尔等必将无往不利。We get a tiger. 坚如盾牌。And we get to kick some items. They 对我们毫无用。我们需要如此虎狼之势，我军必胜。Yeah, the movements just rough. If we do a temporary peace deal, can they give me the? They can't do trade territory, so yeah, that doesn't work. I want this. Oh, we teared up. Um, we don't have a great building choice right now. It should be a double marketplace build, but that has to hit tier five for us to pull that off. So right now we can't do that. I can try to build a tier two labor for a reform as well, but we also want to finish other reforms. So this is just we have really nothing here. I can cheese a bit more prestige. Let's do that. Want to hit king? All right, they're here. Our convict is our duelist, so. Give him the items again. The other two are just basically charge and roar characters. They both don't have. We don't have any. Um, blame the phoenix, unfortunately. But roars are quite good against Tingzhou units as well. I think we'll be okay. Two turns might be a bit slow. Well, let us slowly build so we don't mess up with the replenishment here. Worst case scenario, we have to summon an army there next turn as well. We'll see if we can hold this during the end turn. That's pretty much the only thing that's happening. Oh, we should have moved him. Yeah, we'll hit king next turn for sure. All right, they like their chances. Let's go. We'll try to finish the Sentinel off in a duel, and then just keep roaring on the enemy units to make them rout four times. That's the trick. You don't bounce back after shattering four times, or wavering for four times. Hmm. I mean, to pull this off, we need to hide our units. They're the slowest group, so we don't want to hide them with the others in case we have to go on the run. Alright, it's all on us. Oh, about the cavalry, though. The cavalry will murder us. Yeah, I actually don't know how we win this one. Go for a draw. All right, they they don't know where. Oh, they wait, wait, wait. They have full vision. We can't hide. Xun Yu. Um. Okay. Right, the strategy has full vision of the map, so we can't technically hide. 
The cavalry is going to commit over here, which is actually a good thing. Well, she's smart enough to not duel us. Alright, we fight with our captains to kill the enemy cavalry. Then we can maybe dismount to kill her. Actually, brace, 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 brace. Hide the generals behind. No, don't go after this group. Leave them alone. Just keep your general safe. Don't you want to keep your general safe? Right, we're going to dismount a killer faster. And then crowd her with this. And then send them at the cavalry. Do a targeted strike on her. There we go, she's dead. Fight us! There we go, they didn't get a charge off, which is good. Alright, remount. That was pretty clean, we barely lost any health. And then we're gonna go harass the other to force the cavalry to come to us. And if we just kill him, we turn this vision off. Oh, it's gonna turn off in three minutes, well, three minutes total, 45 seconds left. So if we can just wait till that long, they technically go invisible and they will go after our troops. Alright, kill this with a roar. Charge, charge, charge. Wait, wait, you guys didn't mount. Get on your horses. I'm not yet. Okay. Uh, they're coming pretty fast. Can we kill this cavalry faster than this? How long do we have? Oh, invisible. Time to be invisible. Nope, not invisible anymore. We've been engaged by the enemy units. Fire arrow, run. All right, peel back. You guys are on your horses now? Okay, good, 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 good. We can use our units to help turn this around. Give them one number. Get over here. Wow, oh, it's so easy for us to get dismounted in here. But we're gonna have to help. Alright, we're activating. We're gonna probably act, end up activating their. Oh, he, he got dismounted, it's fine. Roar. Activate their Undying Devotion. Then see if we can do a few more charges here. All right, you're dismounted. Go kill him. I'm gonna go hunt down. Uh, those units are probably dead. I'll stay behind here. Do a second roar. Make sure they route. You go kill him. Chain route these. Route for good. Don't let them bounce back. Keep running. Uh, spear guard, charge the cavalry. You three are gonna be our new baby units. Run over here and hide. Can't save everyone, so leave someone behind. Ah, uh, he's running away. Okay, at least they got this killed. Two captains stay hidden in the forest. Try to use our generals. Run. Run. 
Gotta kill what we can. Alright, sacrifice yourself. Yeah, losing the horse sucks. You two kill that. You two keep running. Don't stop. Clean that up. Clean that up. Alright, maybe charging now is kind of dumb because they are now sending infantries at us. I'm gonna go help over here. Why are we burning? Enemy archer shot at us. I know why we're burning, but stop burning. Get over here. You charge this. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Stand back a little. Run towards the captains. Alright, try to kill the cavalry. You guys flee. I have a meeting in the middle. Alright, we're coming in. Get a roar. Alright, mis uh, misplaced devotion is on. You guys move back a little. We don't need you anymore. The general's got this. We wait for misplaced devotion to end. And then we just basically charge it to a route. Okay, they're not gonna win over there, that's fine. Charge and route it. Hang in here. There we go. Alright, we saved this group. Move them over here as well. Try to go save another group or pick off some units. Hide right here. Go see if you can pull a group over. Yeah, we don't have time to micro most of these. I mean, it's nice to fight inside the fire. It will cause more morale issues. I stay away with enemy spear units. All, right, all their range are dead. We can't run over there. We're going to lead them to our archers, which we don't want. Let's lead them over here if we can. Roar. And then get out. Go help him. Enemy cavalry incoming. Can we fight this guy? Alright, captains come out. And we might all get dismounted here. We have pretty bad risk.
All right, we activated. Uh, two people got dismounted. Get him out. If you're dismounted, just fight them for the next 18 seconds. Not smart. We'll take a lot of damage, but... Uh, doesn't look like we'll have a lot of options. Get out of here. We need you. We need you. Stay, 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 stay. It's too late to leave. See if we can kill the cavalry. That would be huge. Stay here. Stay here. You have speed. Over here. Kill the cab. Kill the cab. Oh, you two kill him. Go, go, go. Oh, all di everyone dismounted? No, he's still he's still on his horse. Okay, you stay alive. You kill the cavalry. Come back here. Now we're drawing a lot of forces. Waiting for our next roar. Cavalry got knocked out. New cavalry coming. Alright, come back for a roar. We're gonna try to keep him alive and on on the horse. Everyone else doesn't really matter that much. Might be going for the draw now. Alright, we peeled him off towards here. We lost interest. Okay, so they get out. They get to pursue here. He's gonna bounce back, I think. Then we're just pulling him towards our units on this side. When he bounced back, he needs to go hide. Alright, just make sure they don't get a bounce back. There's always going to be combat. Alright, you guys ready to fight? Mm, it's gonna be tough. I want one unit to come to me. All right, they ended up wiping out our other group. Yeah, I can kill one. There we go. Now I want another unit to come to me, but over here. I want to draw them to this side too.
similar speed. Should be able to make a run for over here. He's not going to bounce back, unfortunately. He lost too much health. It'd be nice if he was, but not going to get him there. I mean, yeah, it's fine. We escort him out, and then we reset with this group. And reset with him. And do a little bit of fighting here. Wipe out another one or two groups. To get into our range. Even some melee cab, I think we shoot it. They're in the fire. The morale debuff will be nice. With being shot at the same time. And then we do a roar and then we actually route them right here. Go, 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 go. While they're in the fire, that's the key. And then we get out. Just just here to apply the roar. Perfect. Fire over here. Fire over here. Make sure he's still moving. Get him over here. He's easily routable. back a little, let the archer do its thing. Nice, another one. Our roar comes back soon. I don't really want to engage. Buy time for the archer to fight longer. Shoot fight, yeah. Especially give them an angle to shoot where the shield is not pointing the right way. And then we're gonna go try to kill the strategies here. Our debuff, that's okay. I don't think they hit back. We should dismount actually. Run and let them fire from behind. Kill the one with Wisdom of the River. Or whoever's next to us. Kill kill whoever's next to us. Alright, come out and help the general fight. Fire a little longer. want to go this way. Same thing, we want to open up an area where it's... where they're not... Uh, where their shield's not facing us, basically. Alright, trap them there. We still have issues there. No, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Alright, we don't need to kill. Knockout's good. We get a charge speed. Yeah, something is speeded up a little. Gotta knock him out quickly before they get here. Alright, triggered their misplaced devotion. Interesting. We're leaving. He needs to get back on his horse. 
That's the problem. This group, now we can't really do anything to the team drill units. Uh, they're just gonna die. Get back on your horse. We're gonna go hide back in the forest. They're gonna route this time. They're ready to use misplaced devotion. Taking a ton of damage here, too. Alright, just no misplaced devotion here. Get the kill. Nice. He gets the route. He took the blunt of the damage. Is he back on his horse? Okay. That's really all we need here. If I can snipe him. And then we can hope for some army loss later. He's trying to drag me into. We can do the roar. Oh no, we got dismounted right there. Hmm. Foolish on my part. We have to last quite a bit here. Can we kill him while we're on foot? Let's do this. One more hit. Okay, he's done. Go back here and see if we can kill him after two seconds before we kill the other ones. Don't bounce back. Alright, do enough damage to route them before they get here. Nice. Finish that group. Throw them over here. And we're waiting for the cooldown, and then we're going to regroup with that. There we go. We're leaving. Ah, Spear, Spear Warrior died. Okay, let's go over here. Actually, just stop moving. Fatigue is what's killing the morale, I think. Yeah, four points of fatigue, being fatigued. Chase us. I gotta roar. I gotta start the roar early, I think. Right where we have the range, pretty much. Put them on the side. Right, we're going to be more fresh than they are. Stay right here. We're going to go roar. And then that activates their misplaced devotion? No? Wow, oh, they're sturdy. All right, this. Hold on. All right, now that activates misplaced devotion, but Technically, if we route this, we win. So keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Wait for the 18 seconds or so, and then we charge right back into it. I think we win. Don't die before then. Oh no. Six seconds. Gotta time this right. No, we might be army lossing here. 16. All right, we might be the one army losing here. 
stuck with two archer militias, that's the problem. We only had one, I mean, there's no way we beat the other team draw unit because they never got misplaced devotion here. Pretty big loss for us if they capture our generals and our items. Oh, 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 came back. Ah, too little, too late. We drag it out for another eight minutes. We can get a draw. Oh, he might bounce back. Okay, so he's back. I can't beat them. The foot race spread to two different places. They only have three units. They have two units to chase three of us, so. All right, we're not losing here. We might have to fight him here. Oh, he lost little vision of us for a moment. All right, this unit is just lost. We can say now. This is the only visible unit. And they're so far away from it that we're gonna get the draw that we want. Almost had the win. Almost had the win. We didn't have any flame with Phoenix, that's the biggest problem. And they have way too many Tingle units. I think we'll take this. Okay, we're gonna get busy in the north as well. Ooh, vassalized little bit, interesting. That helps us with with him, basically. He's trying to make us like them, which I, I don't get why. We're gonna try to hit King right here and end our episode after that. I have no idea where she's trying to go with that, but for the most part, we can ignore that. That's where we're trying to go. Depending on the level of this, this might push us to king. Looks like at least level 3. So I would say this is probably enough. Yep. Let's see what the three kingdoms is going to be here. Army, administrators all done. Yeah, we're going to hold firm and just not spy. Assignments, character, salary, trade influence. We have to make vassals if we want trade deals at this point. It's kind of difficult. I could settle for the character experience bonus that we get from there. And then just go with three trade agreements here. Three kingdoms are... Kung Sun Zan and Dong Min. Okay. So basically, people who are far, far, far away from us got to develop 
people who are close to us just kept trying to come to us with the tunnel vision. So Liu Bei actually stays with Cao Cao since neither of them became competing kingdoms in terms of the vassalage. Well, we did hold here. I don't think we'll be able to win this fight. Unless we send them help, which I think is what we will do. Also landed here. He could probably take this, and that's fine. We're going to take this and then go fight him. In terms of the map... I'm surprised the High Empire didn't, didn't join the fight here. We need to build an army here, both Matong and the Kingdom Seat here. This Kingdom Seat's really, really far. Getting there would be our biggest issue. We'll most likely have to sail our army up. I think it's in Yobeiping. Yep. We could land here. It'd probably be a soft landing spot. I doubt there'll be resistance. And then we can spawn multiple armies to take this afterwards. But aside from that... Yeah, we got there a little too fast. Well, actually, people are already turning on us. So it doesn't really matter. But we'll wrap this up first. And then go forward. Uh, it should be easy now. We have a flushed out court. We would have protector of heavens as well. And we'll be able to not worry about imperial favor at all. And just basically pump out three or four additional armies and just start taking everything. The Nunman generals that we've been grabbing will be perfect for spamming protector of heavens. We don't need them to have anything else. And they can just kind of charge force with those units. I think we should have a pretty easy time wiping out some of these factions. So we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!